All righty, everybody, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Bubba Wallace's rigged and scripted victory in NASCAR today at the Yellowwood 500 at Talladega Super Speedway. If you're new here, welcome aboard. We talk about the language of Gematria, which comes from Kabbalah, which has the belief that God created the world with letters, numbers, and words, a system that your language, calendar, and currency is based off of. And it is very important to the Jesuit order who controls media, government, military, rigged sports. And this could not be any more of a clear tribute to the George Floyd killing, Black Lives Matter, and the noose incident that happened with Bubba Wallace June 21st at Talladega in the Xfinity Series. Then when the NASCAR Cup Series comes to Talladega today, October 4th, because of a rain delay, Bubba Wallace wins the next NASCAR race at Talladega. What a coincidence. Isn't it funny how in the world of sports these coincidences always seem to happen? It's just so perfect. It's because it's rigged. It's a system. And when we were looking, because I don't know a whole lot about NASCAR, but what I told the people on Patreon was, because we were looking at another guy for the October 3rd race, but I warned people last night that any time NASCAR suspends a race due to rain and postpones it, you have to be careful because there's probably going to be another ritual that's going to take place. And sure enough, Bubba Wallace (laughs) winning this race, this could not be any more of a perfect script. So we're going to get into this. For those of you that don't know, Bubba Wallace is an African-American NASCAR driver. He became the first driver since Wendell Scott, December 1st, 1963, to win a race in NASCAR's top division. So what what we're going to start out with, we're going to talk about the new story that made national headlines on June 21st, 2021. This was at an Xfinity Series race, the second tier of NASCAR. That happened at Talladega. Now notice right here, Talladega is a perfect track for racism. Notice in Gematria, the alphabetic order, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z is 26, the cipher that's on the U.S. currency. Notice how racism in Talladega both sum to 63. Notice how when you run the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, which is the same as the ordinal cipher, it's just you break every letter down to a single digit, both Talladega and racism sum to 27. And keep in mind, these are the two ciphers Manly P. Hall talks about in his book called The Secret Teachings of All Ages. So, I want you to see how from June 21st, 2021 to October 4th, 2021 was exactly 106 days. And Bubba Wallace, the black NASCAR driver, wins 106 days after the news story also broke at Talladega. And notice we've been talking about this number in Black Lives Matter since the George Floyd killing, which we're going to get to. But notice how Black Lives Matter is 106, I Can't Breathe is 106, Justice for George Floyd is 106, Black Power, Black NASCAR, they all sum to 106. The Black NASCAR driver wins 106 days after the national news story at Talladega, June 21st. Then he wins the next Cup Series race at Talladega. So... If you missed this story, CNN made it front page on June 10th, the date written 10 slash 6, like 106. What happened that day? NASCAR banned the Confederate flag on 10 slash 6, then 106 days after the news story. The black It's really funny when you think about it. The black NASCAR driver wins. So... Notice how from the date, June 10th, the date they, that NASCAR banned the Confederate flag to today, October 4th, is exactly 117 days. 
Yellowwood 500, Sumsville 117. This race today was exactly 117 laps. Notice, Wallace led five of the 117 laps in the Yellowwood 500, which was stopped 71 laps, shy of the full distance by a second rain shower of the day. He drove the 23XI Racing number 23 Toyota, which is he drives for Michael Jordan. It says to a home state victory at the 2.66 mile Alabama track, producing the first win for the Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin owned organization in its first season. Don't forget Denny Hamlin is the only NASCAR driver that when you write out his name, it sums to 56 like Black Lives Matter. His name's 119 like George Floyd. But anyway, notice how it was stopped 71 laps shy of its full distance. George Floyd, dead May 25th, 2020, right? Notice how from May 25th, 2020 to October 4th, 2021 was exactly 71 weeks. And notice the Society of Jesus, who is the Jesuit order, who are the ones that operate by this code of letters and numbers every single day, sums to 71. They are the Masons within the Catholic Church. 71. So another perfect ritual, 117 lap race, stopped 71 laps short of its distance, 117 days after NASCAR banned the Confederate flag on 10-6. Mr. 106 wins 106 days after the racism-related story at Talladega in the Xfinity series. So once again, you couldn't have scripted it any better. We'll leave it there, guys. Till next time.